What's up guys and welcome once again to another video. In this week's video, we're gonna be diving into Photoshop and more importantly, the new and redesigned Camera Raw. Now, uh, Adobe, a couple of weeks back, they uh, had a major, major update to all of their programs, which a lot of people have been expressing their opinion and most of them really don't like the new color scheme. As for me, uh, I only have a couple of these icons up on my computer at all times, so it really doesn't bother me that much. But with that said, this is not about uh, their color scheme, this is about Camera Raw. The new Photoshop has a lot of amazing new features, and although I will not be able to go through all of those features in this video because I'm trying to make this video as short as possible, we're only going to dive into the one that I particularly use the most and I think a lot of people out there are really really going to like this new upgrade to the Camera Raw within Photoshop. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the computer in Photoshop and see what we got. Okay, now for the purpose of this video, I have already pre-selected a photo that I took uh, maybe like last week a week and a half ago while I was out taking some photos around downtown. And this is the one that we're gonna be using today in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and go into the computer. As you can see, we have our image right here. Now, a lot of people edit in a lot of different ways. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It's just whichever best fits for you. So. We're gonna go ahead and dive straight into this photo. We're gonna take this lock off. And we're gonna go ahead and go to, uh, with the layer selected, go into filter, and then you're gonna go into camera raw filter. Once it pops up, you will see that right away, this, it looks so much better than how it was before. This looks a lot more like your typical Lightroom setup. So like I said earlier, if you are familiar with Lightroom, this should be a breeze for you. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and make some adjustments that I think are necessary for this photo. And we're gonna go ahead and bring out the shadows a little bit, the whites, bring out the blacks. Temperature, I'm gonna shift it a little bit towards the yellows because this was done during sunset, so I wanna to try to capture a little bit of that sun warmth. So, a little bit of the haze. If you can scroll down, as you can see, the new camera raw also has the curves feature like you do in Lightroom. And it has the same color RGB uh, curves adjustments on here as well. So with that said, let me go ahead and make my adjustments on here. You typically want to just make some sort of an S curve uh, on your on your photo. Bring up the shadows a little bit, a little bit darker. Okay, there is my little S curve. We're gonna go ahead and keep going down. Now, uh, details, same thing, like you can actually have this type of adjustments in Lightroom. So we're gonna add a little bit of sharpening, maybe 20. No noise reduction, no color noise reduction. Next is the color mixer, and this is just like you have it also in Photoshop, uh, I mean, sorry, not in Photoshop, in Lightroom. So um, same thing here, you can adjust the colors individually or you can do your HSL sliders, whichever you are most familiar with is the ones that you can use in this portion. So as for me, I like to use more of the colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blues. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit on the cyan side. We're gonna go ahead and go to the orange Go a little bit toward the orange side, make a little bit more powerful, the yellows, a little bit towards the orange. All 
All right, so as we can see here on the screen, this is how your basic camera raw filter looks. As you can see, they have little eyes, so if we kind of want to, you know, take one of those things off and see how it was before, you can see that before and after on all the ones that you actually used. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the fun stuff, the good stuff. As you can see on the side, it has all of your healing tool, your gradients, your radio filters, all of these things, your red eye if you do in portraits. So we're gonna go ahead and add some graduated filters. I'm gonna grab one from the top, bring it down, and we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of, I wanna put it down a little bit, add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of highlight, shadows, lift them up, a little bit of white, Perfect. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and get a, what are these circular ones called? These are called radio filters. So we're gonna get now the radio filters and I'm gonna go ahead and emphasize on this area which is where the sun is kind of hitting. And you hit the invert it's gonna put everything the adjustments inside the circle and not outside the circle again you have to invert it because if you don't invert it and if you add you can see that it's adding it to the whole picture instead of the area that you want so in this case we're gonna go ahead and push invert and just boost a little bit on there there we go a little bit of clarity, shadows, and that's pretty perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and use another filter from the bottom up. And we're just gonna go ahead and make this a little bit darker. Excellent. All right. So now that we think we have everything done in our camera raw, we're gonna go ahead and push OK. And as you can see, our photo has been edited with the basic, basic, uh, I guess, uh, corrections from when you get your raw image. From here, we can do several different things. What I am gonna do from here I'm gonna go ahead and right click, convert to smart object. And then once you convert it to a smart object, we're gonna go ahead and add some other adjustment layers. I'm gonna go ahead and add a curves layer on here. Go ahead and emphasize on that. It's beautiful. We're also gonna add a hue and saturation and just move it a little bit to the left so we can bring out this red. Maybe bust it up like one or two. There we go, plus one, plus one, minus four. That is looking good. We're gonna go ahead and add one more adjustment layer just to kind of give it a little bit of a, of a washout look. It does kind of what you're going for not you don't have to let me see what others what other stuff can we do tilt in orange Ooh. we can try to do the tilt in orange looks pretty nice decent okay so let's just say we are happy with what we got and we are ready using all of the uh, fun and amazing things Photoshop has to offer I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna speed this up and just edit this photo so we can get ready to post it on Instagram.
all right guys so that was today's video i hope you guys enjoy learning about the new camera raw redesign for photoshop if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up that really helps out subscribe if you're not subscribed already make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified when i upload newer videos and with that said thank you so much again for watching and i will see you guys on the next video peace